Hello, my name is Edgar. Core by Premier Software can store plenty of important client details via client cards. This is useful for saving time when needing to book in clients for future bookings, as well as contacting them to confirm appointments, send marketing and more. Therefore, today I will show you how to set up a new client card and its uses. First, log into Core's reception application. This will be where you can add a new client or search for their existing details. Under the Pre-Arrival Client Information section, click the Clients icon. To create a new client and their client card details, click the Create New button at the bottom right of the screen. On the new screen that appears, you will then be able to add all the necessary details in the GDPR compliance system. The first screen, and one you will automatically start on, is the Personal Details tab. Starting at the top, you will see a yellow box where a unique ID will show. This should appear once you save the client details and will be automatically assigned by the system to help recognise the client. Below this, you can then use the title drop down menu to enter titles such as Mr, Miss, or even MX for those who don't necessarily identify as either. Even so, you'll have to enter a gender in the client card, but please bear in mind the title in conjunction with the client's pronoun. You can then enter the client's surname and first name accordingly, with their preferred greeting in the salutation field. Beneath this, use the drop-down menu to enter their nationality, such as British. Below, enter the client's date of birth, starting with the day in the first box, month in the second box, and year in the final box. The system will automatically calculate the client's age from these details. Further below, enter the client's address, starting with the first line in line 1. Keep entering each line of the address in the fields before using the country drop-down menu to select the applicable country, such as the United Kingdom. Finally, enter the postcode of the client's address. If the client wishes to receive any information to an alternative address, such as an info pack about your services, then enter these address details under the mailing address section. Above, make sure to take the client's preferred contact information. The most useful of these are their mobile phone, for contacting regarding their bookings via call or SMS, and email address if they wish for email confirmations. Whatever the case, make sure they wish to be contacted by whichever detail they provide, then tick the relevant boxes under the contact media section. If the client does not give consent to be contacted for email or SMS marketing, make sure to tick the exclude from marketing tick box. This is important under GDPR compliant laws. However, the client may still wish to be contacted for appointment confirmations, so tick the receive appointment reminders box if this is the case. Below this, you can assign the client to a specific client card type. These can be set in customization if you're a single site business, or administration if you are based across multiple sites. For example, you may wish to create a client card type for family or staff. You can even enter an expiry date for this using the drop down menu and calendar. The miscellaneous section is for anything else contact related. For example, source will be where you can assign how the client heard of you. This could be via an advert promotion or them finding your website. This can help direct your future marketing efforts. The type drop down menu will be to assign client types. Again, these are set up in customization and then client type, which is useful for grouping clients together for marketing purposes. Below, you can then assign any default staff that the client prefers, as well as a secondary choice if that staff member is unavailable. You can then input any locker and room details that the client regularly uses. The last area in the personal details tab is for membership. Any membership details will be allocated to the client at the bottom of their client card once they set one up. Once you've finished setting up the details here, click the Additional Details tab. Here you can assign further details you may have set up in your system, such as if the client is a smoker, has an interest in particular activities, and so on. Simply click the boxes that are relevant to the client. To the right, you can also add any booking notes, arrival notes, and or departure notes that would be prompted on any of these situations. Next, head to the Account tab. This will be where the client's card details are stored if they have used their card on their account. To the right, you can see any loyalty points the client may have accumulated over time, which can be set up in Manager or Administrator through the Pricing Structures icon. Below will be a section showing any credit the client may have. For example, they may have paid £100 to their account for future use. This will be stored here on their client card and available for use when they go to pay for an item. Further below, any course items will show. The client may purchase a course of four massage treatments in advance, for example. These will then be stored here for future viewing and amendment via the Change Quantity button. 
Moving on to the medical tab, you can then tick which medical conditions the client may suffer from. This can be anything from asthma to a skin condition. It's worth noting that you can fill out a new questionnaire for medical details in the bottom right, which is essential to list any medical conditions the client suffers from. Make sure to tick these as some treatments will be unavailable for clients with particular conditions. You can also click add notes to enter any relevant notes. The patch testings tab is useful for registering any patch tests for the client. You can list a new patch test using the relevant button, then filling out the date details, staff who carried out the patch test, and any results of this when they become available. It's also useful to look at this in the future. Running over the last few tabs quickly, the visits tab will list any visits the client has made on site, the spend tab will show the client's spending with you, the contact log is useful for if clients wish to make a query or contact, the recommendations tab is wonderful for adding recommended stock and items, and the audit tab shows exactly what happened during an appointment amongst others. The final details to note are if you wish to contact the client on an individual basis. To do this, head back to the personal details tab and along the right, click whether you would like to send an SMS or email message. You can then fill out the applicable details to send to the client individually. When you are happy with all the client card details and changes, click the back arrow. If you have yet to experience Core by Premier Software, want to book a free presentation using the link in our video description on YouTube, or visit our website at www.premier-core.com. Alternatively, you can find out more about Core when you telephone our sales team on plus 440-1543-466-580, or email us at sales at premiersoftware.co.uk. Why not subscribe to us on YouTube for weekly videos on how to use Core and click the notification bell to receive updates as soon as they become available. You can also follow us on Twitter at Core by Premier and LinkedIn at Premier Software Solutions for regular content. Take care and thank you for watching.